Peggy 12. Hello everyone and welcome to today's Nintendo 3DS Direct. Let's jump right in, shall we? Many of you are enjoying Pokemon Go right now, and it has been a while since we first revealed Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Let's take another look. The story begins when your character moves to the tropical islands of the Aurora region to become a Pokemon trainer. At the start of your adventure, you can choose one of three first partner Pokemon. The Grass Quill Pokemon, Rowlet, the Fire Cat Pokemon, Litten, or the Sea Lion Pokemon, Poplio. The two legendary Pokemon from the game boxes, Solgaleo and Lunara, are important to your adventure too. On your journey, you will also encounter regional variants of Pokemon you have seen before. They look unique and have adapted to the Aurora region. This is an Auroran Ratata. It has a distinct look and its type is dark normal. It's quite different to the Ratata you know. It is said that Ratata once swamped the Aurora region, so young goose were introduced to the area to take care of the problem. To escape from young goose, Ratata had to adapt and change their sleeping hours. In the end, their appearance changed to help them deal with their surroundings. There is also a new element to Pokemon battles, Z-Moves. A Z-Move is a very powerful attack that is activated when a Pokemon and its trainer use their full powers together. The type of Z-Move that a Pokemon can use depends on the type of Z-Crystal that the player gives to the Pokemon. Some Z-moves can only be used by certain Pokemon after they are given a specific Z-crystal. If you purchase Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon close to launch, you can receive early purchase bonuses. From game launch until January 11, 2017, you can receive Munchlax in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. This Munchlax can evolve into Snorlax to go all out. It will come with a special item, Snorium Z. By evolving Munchlax into Snorlax and having it hold the Snorium Z, Snorlax becomes able to use a special Z move, Pulverizing Pancake. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will launch on November 23rd. Before that, on November 18th, we will release the new Nintendo 3DS XL, Solgaleo and Lunara Limited Edition, which we previously announced. Today, I can announce that we will also release a special edition Nintendo 2DS on November 23rd. It will be available with either Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon pre-installed. Moving along, see what you think of this. It may look like Super Mario Maker, which launched last year on Wii U, but actually, this is Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. This game is all about playing courses anytime, anywhere. There is lots to play right out of the box with 100 built-in courses designed by Nintendo. Those levels have extra challenges too, such as collecting every coin or defeating every enemy before reaching the goal. Completing these extra challenges earns you medals. You can also go online to play courses made using the Wii U version. You will not be able to search by course ID, but you will be able to enjoy the 100 Mario Challenge and recommended courses too. While not every course created in the Wii U version will be available, 
there will not be any shortage of great content. Just like the Wii U version, this game lets players freely create their own Super Mario courses. It includes every tool and course part from the Wii U version, except for the mystery mushroom and the linked Mario costumes. But do not worry if you find the course creation a little intimidating. Mashiko and Yamamura guide you with interactive tutorials. You will be creating with confidence in no time. While Super Mario Maker on Wii U was all about creating a big global community, this time we want to bring players together with nearby friends to build close-knit communities. So instead of uploading courses online, courses you make can be shared by a local wireless and street pass. We have also added in the ability to share incomplete courses by a local wireless. That way, you can team up to create courses. These courses will be marked with a special icon to show off your collaboration. Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS will be released on December 2nd, 2016. Now let's talk about Mario Party Star Rush. This game has a new mode called Toad Scramble, where everybody plays as a toad. It can be played in single player or multiplayer, and everyone moves at the same time, from rolling the dice to moving towards bosses. By eliminating turns, the game is much faster and a bit more strategic too. The first player to reach a boss will immediately dive into an action-packed minigame, and the other players can join in the fun when they catch up. But getting there fast isn't an instant win. There are other things to think about. On each map, you will find Mushroom Kingdom allies who are waiting to team up with you. These ally characters give you an extra dice roll and as they play mini-games alongside you, any points they earn are added to your total. It is important to meet up with many allies as you play. There are other modes too, like Coin Astron, where players race around the track by collecting coins while playing mini-games. There are no dice here, it is all about your mini-game skills. And in the mode Mario Shuffle, you must move three pieces to reach the opponent's side of the board. There are seven modes, so it is up to you and your friends how you party. Do not forget, the game is also compatible with the Super Mario series Amiibo figures, including these seven figures that join the party soon. The Boo Amiibo even grows in the dark, so it can never hide in the shadows. They work differently in each mode, so try them all out and see for yourself. Of course, this is Mario Party, so it is packed with new mini-games. There are a few ways to play together, including a download play and local multiplayer for up to four players. And if you download the free software Mario Party Star Rush Party Guest from Nintendo eShop, you can enjoy four-player multiplayer without limitations, using only one version of the full game. You can also play some mini-games in single-player mode. The Party Guest version will be available from game launch. Mario Party Star Rush and the new Boo, Wario, Rosalina, and Donkey Kong Amiibo will be released on October 7th. These other three new Amiibo will be released on November 4th. 30 years ago, The Legend of Zelda launched in Japan, introducing the world to the hero Link, the Princess Zelda, and the villain Ganondorf. The game also introduced players to its items, enemies, dungeons, and tricky puzzles, which left you feeling so smart once you solved them. To mark the 30th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda, 
This winter, we will release a special series of classic Zelda Amiibo figures. These Amiibo will work like other Link and Zelda Amiibo, and they will also have special functionality in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when it releases next year. And if you are really in the mood to immerse yourself in all things Zelda, check for performances of The Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, which continues to tour around Europe and the world. I am also happy to announce that the original version of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword will be releasing today in Nintendo eShop on Wii U. In Japan, the first game in The Legend of Zelda series was created as the first title for the Famicom Disk System. Back then, it was surprising to see an action game with story and puzzles. I myself enjoyed staying up all night to play it. The Legend of Zelda is one of the 30 NES games included in the Nintendo Classic Mini Nintendo Entertainment System, which is coming to Europe on November 11th. As part of my job back when I was a salesperson, I fixed NES hardware day after day and needed to play games to check the systems were working. I played many of the included games at that time. It has been around 30 years since the Nintendo Entertainment System was launched in Europe. I hope playing these games will bring back lots of memories and help you make new ones. Please take a look at this video. Let's go from the first Zelda game to the most recent one, Hyrule Warriors Legends. Many of you have been enjoying this game, fighting thousands of enemies with your favorite characters from the Legend of Zelda series. We have already released two DLC packs filled with new characters, weapons, and adventure mode maps. Now it is time to talk about the next DLC, the Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks pack. First, let me introduce a new character, Toon Zelda. Toon Zelda brings plenty of spirit to the battle, and she can send her force flying with devastating attacks. The fearless Toon Link is getting a new weapon too, the Sand Wand. With this weapon, Two Link can use blocks of sand to attack enemies. It can also call in the mighty spirit train to drive the bad guys away. A new adventure mode map and 15 new My Fairy costume pieces will also be included. The Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks pack will be released shortly after this presentation. Next up, Animal Crossing New Leaf. This autumn, we are releasing a free update for this cozy game. First released in 2013. It will expand your town's horizons by adding amiibo functionality and other new features. Of course, Animal Crossing amiibo figures and amiibo cards will be compatible. Select figures from other collections will be compatible too. 
In addition to this update, a new wave of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards will be released on November 11th. There are 50 new cards, and each one features an animal that hasn't been seen in Animal Crossing New Leaf before. You can update your current version of Animal Crossing New Leaf with a free software update. Or from November 25th, you can purchase a package version that includes the update called Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. With this version, you will also get one of the new Amiibo cards that I mentioned earlier. You can find out more details about this update soon. Stay tuned for an Animal Crossing Direct coming later this autumn. On October 21st, take on the greatest hits from Rhythm Paradise. Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix includes many returning Rhythm games selected from previous titles in the series, plus 30 brand new Rhythm games. You can play many of these Rhythm games with either the European or Japanese soundtracks. Choose your favorite soundtrack and find your flow. Plus, for the first time in the series, Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix includes a story mode. When TB falls from Heaven World, it is up to you to help him get back. Take on Rhythm games and help other characters regain their rhythm along the way. You can also team up with other players in local cooperative play. Up to four people can play together with one copy of the game. Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix will be released on October 21st. Like the sound of what you hear, why not give it a try? Shortly after this presentation, a toe-tapping demo will be available to download from Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Next, as you may know, a beloved RPG is heading to Nintendo 3DS very soon. Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past. With its unique Dragon Quest charm, this title sees you embark on an epic and extremely charming adventure. Dragon Quest VII has been completely reimagined for Nintendo 3DS and also features a range of brand new content, including Traveler's Tablets. These tablets are found in a cave within Monster Meadows, the place where you keep monsters that you have befriended. The twist is this. Only your friendly monsters can go into the cave in search of tablets. It is worth the effort though, because finding Traveler's tablets lets you unlock new dungeons, which may contain rare monsters or unique equipment. You can share monsters and tablets with friends by a street pass or Wi-Fi from a place called the Download Bar. It is a great way to find lots of brand new dungeons and even special items. Over 50 special Traveler's tablets will become available over a number of months, starting from launch day. Each one will unlock a brand new dungeon, but beware. Some dungeons will be much harder than others. I hope you are all excited about diving into Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past, which will release on September 16th in Europe. As a final thank you to our Dragon Quest fans, those of you who purchased Dragon Quest VII on Nintendo eShop will receive this wonderful home menu theme for free. Do not forget that there is another Dragon Quest title lined up to release in Europe too. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King will take you on a massive adventure to bring peace back to a land in peril. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King will be released in early 2017. Solve 3D puzzles to find hidden objects in Picross 3D Round 2. In this game, Use the numbers on the blocks to work out which ones to paint and solve the puzzles. There are over 300 puzzles to beat. 
Can you uncover the object in each one? This time, blocks can be painted with two colors, so there are even more elaborate objects to discover. If you tap compatible amiibo, you can even play puzzles based on Nintendo characters. Puzzles can have different solutions based on the difficulty setting you choose. If you are confident in your skills, why not try puzzles on multiple difficulty settings? Picross 3D Round 2 will be released on December 2nd. If you cannot wait to start solving 3D puzzles, the original Picross 3D, previously released on Nintendo DS, will be available to download from Nintendo eShop on Wii U shortly after this presentation. There are many releases coming in the next few months. Please take a look. Now, I'd like to pass you over to Ed for some further updates. Thank you, Mr. Shibata. Hi, everyone. I'm back to talk about some exciting upcoming titles. Soon, there'll be a new update for Street Pass Me Plaza that should make your gameplay experience quicker and smoother. In addition to the current Street Pass Me Plaza, we're adding a Swift Play Plaza, which streamlines the way you play the games. When you visit the Swift Play Plaza, greeting messages from Mii characters have been simplified. And you can even select a game from the bottom screen and load it up at any time by tapping its icon. There will also be a handy adjustment to the entrance for owners of Street Pass Mii Plaza Premium with the new queue feature. Previously, you could only encounter up to 10 players at once by the Street Pass feature. But now, by sending Mii characters you've met via Street Pass to the entrance, you can have up to 100 players queued up. Alongside the update, we're also adding five new fast-paced Street Pass games. Race slot cars and compete for the best time against players you encounter through Street Pass in Street Pass Slot Racer. Predict stock prices as advised by me characters you've met in Street Pass Trader. In Street Pass Chef, cook dishes for hungry heroes who are aiming to rescue the king. Explore Wild Frontiers using the step count of players you meet via Street Pass in Street Pass Explorers. And finally, blast yourself from a cannon to defeat the demons in Street Pass Ninja. Even for Street Pass, these games are bite-sized, so you'll be able to play them more quickly than before. Best of all, you can download either Street Pass Slot Racer or Street Pass Trader for free. It's up to you which one you choose. If you take advantage of the free download, you can purchase the other four new games in a special discounted bundle. The new games and updates for Street Pass Me Plaza and Street Pass Me Plaza Premium will launch shortly after this presentation. Attention! Here's a new game in development for Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS, Tank Troopers. This action game thrusts you into battle behind the wheel of a tank with specialized abilities. The troopers from the title are a key aspect of this game. Depending on the types of troopers in your tank, you'll have access to different abilities. They may look like normal tanks, but these powerful machines can strike surrounding enemies with a freeze attack, launch paintballs to block opponents' views, or use electric shocks to stop rival tanks in their tracks. This is not your average tank warfare. In addition to single player and a local six player multiplayer mode, the game offers download play. Recon tells me there are other game modes too. Tank Troopers will be unleashed on Nintendo eShop in 2017. And now, 
please check out these exciting titles from third parties on Nintendo platforms. That's all from me today. Now it's back to Mr. Shibata. Bye. Thank you, Ed. You are looking at the Nintendo 3DS version of Yoshi's Uri World, a Yoshi adventure game set in a world of yarn. It contains some new features, as well as every stage available in the Wii U version. This version of the game is called Puchi and Yoshi's Uri World. There are also exclusive new stages focused on Puchi. Time Puchi's jump to collect beats as you head for the goal. I am also happy to introduce Puchi Pups. Puchi Pups are little helpers who jump on suspicious spots to indicate where you should look for secret and collectibles. And as you saw earlier, we are developing animated shorts in collaboration with the stop-motion animation studio, Dwarf. The Nintendo 3DS version contains 30 of these shorts, showing the daily lives of Yoshi and Pucci. We will also be releasing a young amiibo figure of Pucci, just as he appears in these episodes. Pucci and Yoshi's Uri World will be released February 3rd, 2017, as will the Pucci Amiibo on the very same day. We will offer a special bundle that includes the game and the Pucci Amiibo. Now let's look at an action-adventure RPG we announced at E3, Eva Oasis. Mr. Koichi Ishii of Great Soul is the producer and the director of this title. He held key roles in the development of Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3, as well as the Mana series at Square Enix. And the characters were designed by the famed illustrator Yoshinori Shizuma. This game takes place in a vast desert and the oasis at its heart. As a chosen seedling, you will travel between this desert and oasis. Travelers with different needs will visit your oasis. The people living there sell products made from the materials you have gathered and offer aid to tired travelers. The desert is a harsh world where everything lives under threat of a dark force known as a chaos. You must set off on an adventure across this land and discover the dungeons scattered throughout. Allies will join you, 
Each one strengthening your team with a specific weapon and unique skill set. Certain weapons are effective against certain enemies, and particular skills are required to solve the puzzles in each dungeon. So it is important to team up with the right allies for the job at hand. Items found in the desert can be used to craft other items or given to certain travelers who seek them. By doing so, you will help travelers reach their goals. They may warm up to the idea of moving in and living at your oasis as an ally. As your oasis blossoms, it will grow thanks to the power of the water spirit, Isuna. May your journey lead you to Ever Oasis when the game release in 2017. Next is a new title, Mario Sports Superstars. This compilation includes five sports. Football, baseball, tennis, golf, and horse racing. And when I say football, I'm talking about the full-on 11 aside rules. These are full-scale sports, and there is more to them than you may expect. Not only is there a single-player tournament mode for all five sports, there are also local and online multiplayer modes. So you can compete against your friends and family locally, or against the best players from around the globe. Mario Sports Superstars will be released in Spring 2017. Let's dig into our final game of the day. The mysterious creatures known as Pikmin are joining the brave space explorer Captain Orima for a side-scrolling adventure game on Nintendo 3DS. Pikmin follow Orima around, and you tap the touch screen where you want to throw them. They will get to work right away, moving objects, battling creatures, or carrying treasures while heading for the goal. As always, red Pikmin are fire resistant. Blue Pikmin love water. And yellow Pikmin can be thrown to higher ground and are not hurt by electricity. It is just you, your colorful friends, and a challenging series of tasks you could only describe as an adventure. Unlike previous Pikmin games, this one is being designed as an action game that will make you think fast and use every Pikmin to overcome anything that stands in your way. This new side-scrolling Pikmin adventure game will be released in 2017. As you can see, many titles are planned for 2017 too. Please look forward to them. That is all for today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy gaming!